Hey guys, okay, hopefully you are back. Hopefully my stream is a lot faster and I'm sorry for the barking dogs. We have some visitors. So I'm just gonna wait for people to join before I get into it once again. Um, and then I will get started. I'm so sorry for the technical difficulties. I do not know what is going on, but clearly there's something going on. Mom, what do you mean turn off the wet water? On your phone, but never mind. Okay. So I'm just gonna wait um, for people to jo join in here. And then I'll start. Hope every, hi Ivan. Hope everybody's going good. I had to actually move from my computer to my phone. Um, the lighting seems a little bit better, which is good. But, and I'm trying, I apologize, I'm not talking. I'm actually trying to find the message that we got in YouTube today. I had it on my phone, but since I'm using my phone to stream, because that seems to be the only thing that is working, I don't, I'm not able to look at it. But I will start talking and I will summarize it in a second. All right. So I just want to wait for some people. So if you're in here, please make sure you share this live stream. Please make sure you like it because that is what's going to beat the algorithm. I need your guys' help on that. Um, so yeah, like, like, like. I know there's only three of you or four of you in here now, but please like this. Please get on and share because I need your help to fight the censorship, y'all. It's real. It's real. Again, I am just waiting on a few more people because I don't want to have to go over this again. Why are there only three people in here? All right, so for the three of you that are in here, um, please make sure you go to my website yeah, at letstalkdarling.com. Sorry, I was playing something. Please make sure you go to my website at letstalkdarling.com and make sure that you put your email address in there so that I can stay in contact with you. I'm gonna explain to you in just a little bit why this is so very important, especially today, okay? There is a communication that we have received as YouTube creators that I want to make sure, okay, to put the information out so that you guys know what it is because it's not only gonna affect me, it's gonna also affect all the other conservative creators out there. Now, I don't think that this is going to, you know, impact somebody like, you know, uh, Desi, the makeup artist, or, um, you know, your favorite um, beauty guru or whatever, this is directly, impacting conservative YouTubers, okay? That's why I have this American flag up here because this is oh so important to us right now. Um, oh, you know what? Can I see the live chat? Okay. Um, so anyways, what is going on is we received a message today from YouTube that is expressing to us some new rules that we have videos that everything and anything that I say in these videos is my, my opinion, okay? My right 
as an American is to have an opinion and to have a voice. And it is my opinion that I, I am voicing on my channel. Yes, Harry, I'm back. Um, and hopefully I'm better. <laughs> um, but of the presidential election in the States at this very moment is it's not hearsay. That's not gossip. That's not, until the new president is sworn into office, which right now that looks to be Joe Biden. Donald J. Trump is your president. That's all I'm going to say right now. Okay. And there are some questions involved. I'm not saying what those questions are called. I'm not labeling them. I'm just saying there's some questions. But President Trump is the current president and Joe Biden is the projected winner of the 2020 election. All right? Okay. I made that very clear. YouTube, I heard you. I, I hope you heard me loud and clear. All right. Let's get to the message that I received. <laughs> I'm also going to explain to you guys how your comments are going to be censored now, okay? But I'll get to that. So stay through this entire, like until I'm done talking about this subject, please do not get off of this. And if you have anybody that you feel like needs to hear this, please share this with them right now, okay? Because these videos are not gonna last long on YouTube. So this is gonna be your very slim chance to hear the truth, okay? So, this was the message, I'm gonna read it to you. Yesterday was the safe harbor deadline for the US presidential election and enough states have certified their election results to determine a president elect. Given that, we will start removing any piece of content uploaded today or any time after that misleads people by alleging that widespread fraud or errors changed the outcome of the 2020 US presidential election. In line with our approach towards historical US presidential elections, for example, we will remove videos claiming that a presidential candidate won the election due to widespread software glitches or counting er errors. We will begin enforcing this policy today and will ramp up in the weeks to come. Can remain on our site if there's sufficient education, documentary, scientific, or artistic context. Okay? So I read that to you. Um, hold on. Let me look and see what that comment said because YouTube became exactly what they said they were fighting for. A valid observation, Harry. Um, okay, so that's not all that YouTube has come down the pipe with, okay? So there are now new changes to the algorithm. You guys, as you are getting in here, please smash that like button because that is the only way I can beat the algorithm. I need you guys to like, like, like this video. So there are seven of you in this live. I need to see seven thumbs up on this video. Share, 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 like, 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 okay? So... Number one, survey creators, I'm sorry, there will be surveys sent out to creators and subscribers on your race and gender so that they can better fit you into the algorithm. What does that mean, you say? So I'll give you an example that's not related to anything that I talk about, but let's just say your car breaks down, okay? You've taken one of these surveys, you've given YouTube your, your, your ethnicity, your age, your sex, your, your sexual orientation or however you identify. And let's just say you have some car trouble, right? So like any normal person nowadays, you go and you search on YouTube to see if maybe you can fix the problem yourself. Well, now you're not going to be getting the best being the person of the right color that matches your, that is the law, <laughs> that's gonna be the law on Facebook, okay? I'm sorry, on YouTube. That now they're going to, they're, they're saying they're doing it to pro, no. You, hateful comments or offensive comments and hold them for review. 
So on my channel, I actually, you can control this on your channel, but YouTube is basically going to force you to have this um, hold comment for review thing. I have a problem with people putting whatever comment they want to put because opinions, I welcome all opinions. I mean, as long as it's, you know, constructive or, you know, has to do with whatever I'm talking about. Now you get the account.com that comes into my comment section to advertise um, their, you know, sexual business or whatever it is that they're doing. But I mean, if people want to dis hateful, I really don't care. I mean, I either respond to you or I don't respond to you. And that's, that's what it is. I don't feel like YouTube needs to be the one to determine what is offensive because that's my question is who is determining what is offensive and who it's offensive to, because I'm not offended by a lot of things. Okay. That's me personally. Now there might be somebody else that's highly offended by a lot of things. Okay. But if that's the case, then I would think you just wouldn't watch that person if you're offended by them. Right. Keep smashing that like button, guys. I need this to, to get seen. Um, so, you know, my question is, who is going to decide what is offensive, okay? At the end of the day, they want to dictate your opinion, okay? You should have a right to have whatever opinion you want to have about anything, okay? Obviously, within confines of the Constitution, which I believe, you know, there's, you know, freedom of speech doesn't include, you know, being able to, um, you know, express pornographic speech, obviously, freely, you know, that's monitored. Um, what they consider or what's defined in the Constitution as hate speech, things like that. Okay, what? Okay, but. Since when does having oh it's um, but you know semi play the rules here and as like I said, um, unfortunately, I think you I have never only had five people disruption in force, um, but expanding my horizons and I am making sure to spread myself across platforms, which I've already been doing. I mean, if you go to my website, letstalkdarling.com, you will see that I, I'm on YouTube, obviously, I'm on Facebook, I'm on Wimkin, I'm on a lot of different um, platforms, okay? So I want you guys to follow me there, but I also, wanted to announce here that I am going to also be streaming my videos onto Rumble, okay? Rumble Okay. I think I'm back. Okay, so <laughs> Everybody is pretty much moving over to Rumble. So I want to make sure that you guys go over to Rumble and follow me under Let's Talk Darling as well. And um, continue to follow me here. I'm going to keep going on YouTube. My videos are going to upload the same way they upload on YouTube. The same time they upload on YouTube, they're going to upload on Rumble. Okay. If you don't have a Rumble account, um, I am going to put a link to my referral account in um, the description box below and you guys can click on that link and you guys can go and see 
um, my account and you can connect with me there and support my videos there. I would appreciate it if you'd support them in both places. Harry, thank you so much for your $25 super chat chat. Harry says it keeps freezing on me. It's pretty much just frozen again, going to try and send this through. Thank you so much for doing that. And for like always supporting me. Yay. Kara just followed me on rumble. She's been trying to follow me on rumble all day and she finally was able to follow me, but thank you so much, Harry, for the super chat. I appreciate you fall or I'm sorry, supporting me all the time. Harry has been buying stuff from my merch store. He's like my biggest fan. He sent me the best gift, which I'm going to have somebody bring upstairs to me in a little bit because I have to show you. It just makes me happy. He sent me this Trump figurine that has like 17 phrases. And you know, I love Trump, our current president. Trump is our current president. Um, Joe Biden is the projected president, YouTube. I'm speaking facts, okay? I'm speaking facts. But anyways, um, so yeah, we all got that notification. ABL got it. Brandon got it. Um, but luckily, you know what, you guys? Our platforms aren't just about talking about politics and who the president is and who the president isn't. It is about speaking truth, okay? So we're going to continue speaking truth. We're going to continue speaking from our hearts. And nothing can stop that. Nothing can stop that. I need you guys to definitely follow me on my website because if big tech censorship tries to stop it, you guys can still go to my website and see my content because there I can post whatever I want, okay? Um, censorship is getting really bad. Feeling so hopeless about Trump's reelection. This is crazy. The powers think they have, the powers that they think they have. Yeah, so some really good news though, I will say this, is that people are starting to hold these big tech companies responsible, I'm sorry, accountable, um, because they are um, starting to, I, I saw today that the Attorney General of New York is uh, filing a lawsuit against Facebook for censorship, okay? So we all know that Candace went and filed her lawsuit and won, hello, she won, and, um, and I see you guys subscribing to my website. Thank you guys so much, love you. Um, but anyways, she won, so I think now other people are like, hey, we should try this too because we too are feeling censored. So I'm excited to see that. I think that these, let me tell you something, okay? Even though what I just read to you that was sent out to all of us um, was sent out and, and it can seem a little bit discouraging, I think if anything, it shows how scared they are that there's more happening that, that they don't want us to know. Okay. Communism 101 is to censor what it is you see, what it is you talk about, um, what it is you're exposed to. So this is the start of it, you guys. This is the start of communism. And, and I went live on Instagram the other day. My mom was with me. My mom grew up in a dictatorship. And from her own mouth, people heard her say that when she was little, okay, she was in her home and when they wanted to speak freely about things, which they didn't agree with the government, but when they wanted to speak about it, they had to close their windows and they had to be very careful about who was around when they were speaking. Now, if you were caught speaking negatively against the government, okay, they would come to your house and pick you up and nobody would ever see you again. Now, my mom says that they would actually take you on a plane and tell you they were taking you somewhere maybe off to jail or something like that or to some facility, but they would actually drop people from the plane, okay? Alive, they would drop them from the plane with no parachute for speaking against the government, okay? So that's, that's the reality of what a dictatorship and what communism does, and that's not what we want, okay? So whether, you know, if you're somebody that supports um, people that are for this type of thing, understand that this could this will affect you as well, okay? It's not just the voices right now that you see them trying to censor um, that are affected, okay? It's going to affect everybody because they're starting with us because we're the biggest problem. We're the biggest thorn in their side right now, but don't think that they're not gonna go to you next, okay? Don't think that you're immune from it at all. Um, okay, let me get into the comments. Yes, Harry, I am back. True. Oh, I'm sorry. You know what? Kara said, it's hard to find me on Rumble when searching on the desktop, but found you when I downloaded the app. So there you go. Um, okay. Uh, true. It's the fact that all these courts keep shutting down Trump's lawsuits. 
Yeah, they are. But I just heard that like 17 states just joined the lawsuit that Texas started. Um, you guys can read up on what that's about. Um, obviously, I can't mention it here because that would be acknowledging something they don't want me to acknowledge. But there's 17 states that are joining in on another lawsuit. Okay. Um, maybe good. Don't really want to support YouTube, but I like to support the creators. I took your recommendation and watching the barrier and it's scary. <gasps> oh my gosh. Somebody's watching the barrier. Please, Nicole, tell everybody in here. The barrier needs to be watched. Okay. It's on Netflix. Turn it to English because it's a Spanish show. You have to freaking watch this show. This will open your eyes if your eyes are just squinting a little bit and you're not quite sure what you're seeing. Go watch The Barrier. Yeah, Kara watched it too. It is scary. It is scary. But you know, when I watched it, I was very emotional at the end because in a sense, it had moments of greatness, um, but it had moments of what real possibility we're headed for if we allow this to continue. Um, and on another note, I was just actually watching Liberty Hangout. I don't know if you guys watched Caitlin Bennett at all from Liberty Hangout. Um, she was the infamous girl that went to Kent State and took a picture with her AR. Um, she basically did a video tonight saying goodbye to YouTube because she knows. I mean, all her channel is based on is talking about uh, political stuff. So they're not going to last very long on here. Um, and, and does she care? No, because she has her libertyhangout.com website. So, um, I'm proud of her and that's what we're all trying to do is we're all trying to get our own platform started so that we can't be controlled by big tech. You know what I mean? So we need everybody's support. Um, you know, like I, I love getting the super chats for sure. And the, and the donations are amazing. Um, but you know, if you're not able to give, financially um or or monetarily sorry then give the video a like share the content not just on youtube but on my instagram on my facebook on wimkin on parlor on rumble the sharing and the commenting and the liking are so so important um to our ability to beat the algorithms that they're putting in place to really censor us and shut us up so definitely support in that way as well um, okay. Are any of the 17 states blue states? Um, I think so, actually. I think so. Let me see if I can look and see the information. Texas lawsuit. Let me see. Um, I'm trying to see. So it says Alabama, Arkansas, Florida, Indiana, Kansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Missouri, Montana, Nebraska, North Dakota, Oklahoma, South Carolina, South Dakota, Tennessee, Utah, and West Virginia have all signed a brief to support the lawsuit. Okay. So I don't know if any of those are blue states. I'm not sure. Maybe somebody can tell me. Um, but yeah, that's who is on there. Just wait for banking for all accounting in January. New money system on us. Quantum financial system will be imposed. Yeah, I know that there's something coming with that as well. You know, obviously with the corn, coin shortage and all that, I mean, that's been ongoing. So yeah, we'll wait and see. I'm not too on the up and up about the financial stuff, um, but I definitely see that being impacted. Um, free speech is our foundation. It's great to see you speaking out. The cancel culture is so destructive and limiting in the expression of ideas. I agree. It is, yeah, this cancel culture is out of control. The woke culture is out of control. Um, you know, obviously this type of communication that we just received from YouTube, um, is part of that whole woke culture. Um, and for people, I don't know if I, did I go through with this before I got cut off? Um, the other rules that are coming across on YouTube that are going to affect you guys. Thank you, Mara. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, 
for anybody new that's joined, okay, there are some new other rules aside from the fact that I cannot talk about um, the election and it being potentially any problem with that um, or discrediting Joe Biden as our, as our um, president elect um, as of right now. I can't say anything about that moving forward. Um, so congratulations, Joe Biden, on winning president of the United States. Um, which, by the way, I want to make this clear. If he did, in fact, um, win the election fair and square, I will a thousand percent support him as the president of the United States. But that also means I will hold him accountable, just as I hold Donald Trump accountable um, up until the very last day that he is the president of the United States. Okay. Um, but here are the new changes to the algorithm that are going to impact you guys. Okay. Um, sorry, I'm trying to keep up with the comments too. Okay, so they're going to create a survey that you guys are going to get in YouTube. So I don't know if some of you guys have seen that sometimes before you watch a video, it asks you if you want to take a survey. So this survey is going to be starting somewhere around the beginning of the, of the next year, um, of the beginning of the year. And it's going to ask you about your race and gender, okay, to better serve you in the algorithm as far as when you search for things, okay? So I gave the example before that is non-political related, um, but if you are a Hispanic person, a black person, an Asian person, a white person, and maybe you Google, how do I fix or how do I change my oil? Or I'm having a problem with my air conditioning in my F-150, okay? YouTube is no longer going to give you the highest rated video overall on how to fix that problem in your car. They are going to assign you a video based on their race and color and how it matches up to you, okay? So they're making the assumption that because you're brown and I'm brown, that we're going to see things alike. Now, I think it's funny, okay? <laughs> how is it gonna work for all the black conservatives out there when um, another black person goes and searches something on YouTube? You know, according to the algorithm, YouTube is going to assign you a black person <laughs> to feed you facts, okay? So how disappointed are they going to be when they get somebody like Brandon Tatum or Candace Owens and they don't agree with them politically? That's going to be hilarious. Okay. Hilarious. They're giving us the paper bag test. Exactly. Okay. The other thing that they're going to do is YouTube is going to be heavily addressing toxic comments and they will be filtering out hateful comments. Okay. Or offensive comments. The question here is, who is going to determine what is offensive and to who it's offensive to? Last time I checked, you have the right to click on whatever video you want to click on. You also have the right to click out of whatever video you want to click out of. You can unsubscribe or you can subscribe, okay? I have people unfollow me all the time. I myself go onto YouTube thinking this is gonna be a great video and I start watching and I'm like, eh, this is not my cup of tea, so I click out, okay? It's my right to choose. But now YouTube is going to choose for you. They're going to choose for you and they're going to make sure that your feelings aren't hurt in the comment section. Again, you have the choice to read a comment or not read a comment, okay? As a creator, I do not have any restrictions on my videos or on my lives on whatever you wanna put in the comments, it's going to show up there, okay? It's going to show up in the, in the feed, it's going to show up in my videos, and if I want to respond to it, I respond to it. If I feel like the comment is very, very inappropriate and not related to the topic at hand, I either hide it or delete it, okay? But it's not very often that I do that. Most of the time, especially when somebody disagrees with me, um, I leave the comment up there and I engage in a conversation with that person. Um, you know, I welcome people who disagree with me. I'm not just here to hear people agree with me and to say, yeah, you're right. And I agree. I mean, that's nice, but I'm more interested in the person who doesn't agree with me than I am with the person who does agree with me. Okay. Um, yeah, I, the people in the comments that are talking about the election, I'm not going to comment too much on them because I can't, okay? I have to unfortunately play by the rules. Oh, you guys like this shirt, by the way? It's on my website. Socialism distancing. I felt it appropriate to wear this shirt today because why not? I mean, we're talking about this, so why not wear a shirt to support this? If you guys love this shirt, 
25% off using the code gratitude on my website, letstalkdarling.com. You can actually use that discount code on anything you buy on the store and you can use it as much as you want until the end of the year. So feel free, knock yourself out. This is my most popular shirt. Harry on here has bought it. He's bought two, I think. Um, but this is the most popular shirt I have. Um, people love this shirt. I get stopped about this shirt. Okay, so get yourself a socially, <laughs> socialism distancing shirt because it's important to distance yourself from socialism, right? Um, yeah, Harry, will YouTube apologize when Trump gets back in? Okay, so here's what, that, what I'm gonna do. So that nice little email that I got from YouTube telling me what I can and can't talk about because it's not factual or there's no evidence to support what I'm saying or my opinions, I am going to save that email. In fact, I think I'm gonna frame it, okay? And I'm gonna have it in the background of my videos, okay? And when Whoopi Goldberg says something like, you know who in the White House? No matter who's in the White House, okay? Let's just, let's just put whoever in the White House, okay? Anybody who's in the White House. If somebody's in the White House, that is your president, whether you like him or not, okay? But Whoopi Goldberg doesn't ever acknowledge the fact. She says, you know who in the White House, okay? Um, when I see the hashtag not my president for anybody, okay, I am going to make sure that YouTube is holding them accountable to the facts, okay? How funny is it that these rules, like it just occurred to YouTube, please hit the like button by the way, it just occurred to YouTube, okay, that it might be a good idea to put this rule in place, right? But it didn't occur to them in 2016 after the election to put these rules in place when Russia, 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 Russia collusion was being shoved down our throats with no evidence of Russian collusion. Huh. Anybody, any thoughts on that? <laughs> can I get a, can I get a amen? Right. Yeah. I just, I think it's hilarious, okay? I think it's hilarious. All the stuff that they have accused Trump of that there has been no proof of, because that's what they're saying here, there's no proof, right, of anything that we're saying, there's no proof that the election wasn't fair, okay? We have to abide to the standards of, there's no proof, so we can't say it. Why doesn't that apply anywhere else? Why does that just apply now? Is it because you're scared? Is it because you wanna make sure that the message you're trying to shove down people's throats goes down really far so they choke on it? You don't want people like us giving them the Heimlich maneuver and saving their lives with facts, but I'll leave it there, okay? <laughs> Nicole says, exactly, they're getting paid, they are biased, and we have freedom of speech, what YouTube should be about. It should be about that, and that's what it was about. It was a platform. What is a platform? This is now not a platform. This is a very slippery slope, okay? <laughs> Kara says, I feel dumb for asking this, but because the safe harbor is up, does that indeed mean it's over? Biden is it. Okay, so Kara, um, don't feel dumb for asking that question. I can't really address it directly, but I will say December 14th. So safe harbor means that it's safe to say by this date who the winner is based on the facts that we have, the facts that we have, right? Regardless of everything else that's going on. But December 14th, I believe, is the official, 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 official day that the Electoral College meets and votes on it. Unless something else happens miraculously and stops that, okay? Yeah, I mean, YouTube makes money from us, you guys. It's crazy, it's crazy to me that they would sacrifice the revenue that they are getting. And maybe it's their advertisers. Maybe the advertisers are like, listen, we don't have a whole lot of videos that we wanna put up. But you know what? YouTube also said that we're a very small percentage of their like um, most, most, um, kooky me hey beautiful hello um they said that the conservative youtubers are a very small percentage of their business but i think it's funny because if we were such a small percentage why worry about about us and why implement this rule to affect mainly us if we weren't a threat to your business obviously we are 
Um, can you imagine, can you imagine how some people that live in a house that's white feel like I feel the way I feel about what's going on, but can you imagine like if you were a guy that lived in a house that was white and you were being censored all the time, imagine that. And you know, constantly being attacked for only spreading the truth and speaking the truth and they were attacking you. Imagine how that feels like I'm on a small level compared to somebody who might live in a white house. Um, that would be under the same scrutiny. It's crazy. Oh, anyways, so, and you know, these new YouTube rules, okay? These new YouTube rules, can I just say, this is abiding by the rules I just got, but it's racist. It's racist. To, to survey somebody on their skin color is racist. To suggest a video to somebody based on their skin color, it's racist. Just saying. Harry said, they keep saying December 14th, but I hear the exact final moment is one of the first days of January. I believe it being January 4th and after everything will be 100% official. Yeah. So there's like a gray area in between December 14th and January, whatever day it all is official. There's like a gray area that nobody talks about. I've heard the same thing, Harry. Um, so yeah, we got to look into that more. Um, yep, he spoke the truth. That's why we love him. Exactly. And that's why they hate him. Right? <laughs> that's why they hate him. So you guys, I'm going to get really, really creative about how I talk about things or speak on things because I'm going to have to. Okay. So it is what it is. I mean, it might make it quite interesting and entertaining for me to do videos now because I'll have to get really, really creative about how I verbalize my thoughts. Um, Hardin said, right-wingers are not being censored on social media for your economic philosophy. You're being censored because you are disproportionately the one who ridiculed feminists and SJWs. <laughs> oh, I love it. <clears throat> yep, yep. I wouldn't be surprised if they went back to segregation. Right. Are we not? Are we not already? Okay. We're already kind of there. We're already kind of there. I don't know. Real quick, you guys, while I have you guys on here, please make sure to smash the like button. If you haven't already, follow me at letstalkdarling.com. That's my website. Scroll to the bottom and put your email in so I do not lose contact with you. Scroll back up to the top so you can see all the social media um, platforms I'm on. And Kara, my wonderful friend, is going to be adding Rumble to that list. So if it's not up there already, um, then please go to Rumble. I'm going to, at the end of this video, post a link to my referral code for Rumble. It doesn't cost you anything to be on Rumble, um, but I'll send you a link to my, ref my referral, and then you can connect with me there, and I will be putting all my videos on Rumble as well, okay? Let's see here. Nicole said, maybe if you talk about smoking blunts half naked, your algorithm would go up like, I don't know. <laughs> Listen, I wouldn't even have to have a blunt. If I got on here half naked, y'all would unsubscribe, okay? <laughs> Unless you had some like sick fetish. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to do that. I don't smoke blunts and I definitely am not going to get naked on YouTube. Although I know that Jeffree Star, he got in trouble for smoking uh, marijuana on YouTube and even indicating that he was high on YouTube. So who knows? Um, let's see. We don't ridicule feminists or SJWs. We tell the truth. They're ridiculous. Yep, I agree. Ben says, Nicole, legit, there was a university recently that actually created spaces for people of non-color or however they labeled it, aka white people, White people only spaces. Tim Poole talked about it a month ago. Yeah, I heard about that. White people only spaces. Like, that's hilarious. Like a safe space. You know what I mean? Left wingers are in the minority for criticizing feminists and SJWs. The few who do are experiencing everything right wingers are complaining about. Mundane Matt is one example. <laughs> I love you, Hardin. You're hilarious. Um, Thankfully, that school got called out hardcore, but still the fact that it even got to that point is scary. Yeah, it's funny. And I even heard like a while ago, there was like um, a group of people that were trying to start like an all black city or all black town. And 
I just thought that was funny because I was like, I mean, I'm from Chicago, so I can say this, and I grew up in downtown Chicago. Uh, that's pretty much all black and Latino, actually, and my people and black people destroyed downtown Chicago, okay? It is a mess, okay? So I laughed when I saw the 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 news of somebody trying to start an all black city and i was like they're gonna tear it they're gonna tear it muck that up so quick and then they're gonna start running over to the white neighborhoods <laughs> where it's safe and clean and all this other stuff i'm sorry you guys i used to live in that so i know like come on give me a break um tuco lo said if trump came out as gay the media would become anti-gay <laughs> right he should do that just to like mind fuck everybody <laughs> he should come out and say he identifies as transgendered or something and see what people wouldn't even know what to do like that would just make a liberal's head explode if that happened if in fact monday matt has been punished the worst for criticizing feminists and sjw's he got swatted one time yep oh man that's brilliant trump should one up full trans <laughs> Uh, you should put deep links on your social icon so people don't have to sign into the app. What is a deep link? Kara, do you know what a deep link is? I don't know what it is. Oh, yeah, Nikki Tutorials. That would be funny, Kara. Yeah, because Nikki Tutorials. I love Nikki Tutorials, you guys. I've been watching Nikki Tutorials forever. I love when she came out. I thought it was great, okay? Um, but I like, you know what I like that she doesn't push it on people. Like she just is who she is. She came out and said it. And the only reason why she came out and said it was because somebody was going to say her business for her. And so she was like, well, forget that. I'm going to come out and speak for myself. So, you know, that's something that I fully, fully support somebody doing that. You know, unfortunately she was forced to like put her business out there and she didn't want to, but she doesn't force her sexuality on people. Her channel has always been about makeup and it's beautiful makeup, and I, I really like her, you know? Okay, let me catch up with the comments here. Hey, DJ Drew. I'm not sure what a deep link is, but I'll look into it. Okay, thanks, Kara. Okay, on your website, it will bring you directly to IG rather than having to sign into Instagram, then go to your page. Oh, okay, gotcha. Look at you. Nicole, what do you do for a living that you're so knowledgeable on this? Um... Thank you, Kooky. I love that name, Kooky Me. <laughs> That's cute. Okay. Oh, you build websites and do digital mar marketing. Okay, that makes sense. Yay. I love smart people. I have the utmost respect for people um, that do that type of stuff because I don't. Okay, this is all I do. This is all I know. Um, you know, so... That's why you got to support me because this is my only job. I'm a, I'm a struggling YouTuber. <laughs> I'm a struggling YouTuber. Um, but yeah. Um, okay, so I have more people on here now. Please make sure you hit the like button. Please make sure you share. Please make sure you subscribe to my website, letstalkdarling.com. Follow me on Rumble for those of you guys who missed the beginning of this live stream where I talked about why I'm going to be moving over to Rumble. I'm still going to be on YouTube, but I have to make sure that I stay able to post what I want to post and it doesn't get censored and Rumble is a place to do that. All of your favorite people, if you follow Brandon, if you follow ABL, um, if you follow the Hodge Twins, they're all over on Rumble or they're getting there soon, okay? Um, for anyone who doesn't know the term swatting, it's when someone makes a phony 911 call, usually claiming hostage situation, which results in a police SWAT team being sent to one's residence. Wow. Okay, I signed up to your socials and emails. I'm new to this biz, but trust me, it makes a difference. People are lazy. Thank you, Nicole. Thank you so much for your support. What up, what up? Yay, Harry, you, you're you too sweet. Harry just keeps sending me, you're about to be my sugar daddy. <laughs> just joking. Harry, you're so sweet. Harry, thank you for the $5 super chat. And earlier, the $25 super chat, you're the best. Um, Harry's my sugar daddy, y'all. Just joking. He's not my sugar daddy. He's just my fan. I love people like that. Not because he's donating money, but because he's just like always engaging and supporting and, um, oh, is somebody downstairs? Yeah. Can you
Can you bring me my little Trump guy? <laughs> Harry, Nicole needs a sugar daddy too. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, Dave is bringing up the Trump, the Trump doll. I don't, I don't want to say doll, the Trump figurine that Harry got me. Harry sent me a gift, y'all. That's how much of, that's how down he is, okay? Okay, I'm so excited for this. Okay, so here's what Harry sent me. Okay, this is my little Trump guy, and he speaks. So listen. And then I tweeted, you know, I have many millions between Facebook and Twitter, it's great. It's like owning a newspaper without the losses, it's incredible. Thank you, God bless you, and God bless America. Woo! I love it. I'm not going to play you all 17, but he's going to be right here in the background. Okay? All right. Thank you, Harry. Thank you, Gabriella, for the $20 super chat. Gabriella, my hairstylist, love you. Hey, you need to get one of these. You love Trump. You need one of these. Harry got it off of Amazon. Okay, so get you a talking Trump, because I know you already have your your Trump coffee cup, and you have your Trump mask. So get your little Trump talking head. Everybody needs one. Um, on account of the possible, possible instabilities in the near future, I've moved most of my investments from paper instruments into precious metals instead of monster rolls. I'm buying boxes of ammo. Yes and yes, okay? The other thing a lot of people are doing is, um, and I'm sorry if I don't know, paper instruments, I'm not sure what that term is, but... I know a lot of people are buying um, Bitcoin as well. Bitcoin is going to be huge. Um, I have invested in Bitcoin. I mean, not a whole lot, but I like it and it seems to be growing. So get you some Bitcoin and buy some ammo. Okay. I need a Trump loving hairstyle. <laughs> Mine was a Bernie supporter. Oh, Kara, you're here. You're in town. You need to go to my hairstylist, Gabriella. She's French. She's amazing. Okay. She will give you dope hair. She loves doing people's hair and she loves Trump. Okay. So Kara, I will send you Gabriella's phone number. Her, um, salon is by the Grapevine Mills mall. So it's not far and she's amazing. She's French and she's a little slutty. Okay. But don't let that bother you. <laughs> she is boy crazy. So she'll be entertainment while you're in that chair, getting your hair done. All right. Okay, so what else? Oh, Melissa, thank you so much for the $4.99 super chat. I love you so much. By the way, guys, if you want to put a message in the super chat as well, you can. Um, if it's something that you want me to see. I mean, I'm trying to get to all the comments as quick as I can. But thank you so much. I appreciate the support. Um, okay, what else? Let me go over to let me go over to the news. and see what we can chit chat about that's new. That's new in the headlines. This just makes me so happy right here. Uh, the booking, hold on. So somebody asked a question. Give me just a second. What is the booking on your site? Okay, so I am a actress, obviously. Um, I do any type of like motivational speaking. So if anybody wants to book me for stuff like that, um, come to schools, come to places of business and just kind of talk, I'm more than open to do that. Um, so you would go to the booking tab on my website if you want to inquire about booking me for something. Um, you know, depending on what it is, once you hit that, you submit your information, we'll talk, we'll figure it out. Um, and that's that, so yeah. <clears throat> Folks need to stop and vote and emotionally investing in all politicians. None of them represent you. They represent the donor class and managerial class. I agree. Okay. But here's the thing. This guy right here. See how this is coming in handy. I don't even have to say his name. This dude right here is not a politician. He's not a politician. See, that's what we like him. But I agree. Emotionally investing. Okay. In anybody besides in my case, God is stupid. Okay. <laughs> now, if you don't believe in God, whatever. Okay. But I believe in God. So I don't emotionally invest in anybody but God. Okay. Or my family. That's it. The people that I love, that's who I emotionally invest in. I'm not emotionally invested in people I don't know 
or politicians. That is ridiculous. You are correct, Harden. I really like you, Harden. I like the way you, the way you think. Um, okay. Harry said, the Cynthia Johnson threat, which some of the media is trying to justify through supposed threats made against her bite. Their bite from people, and they claim a lot of them are saying she should be lynched. What? I haven't read up anything on that. The doll escapes algorithms. Yes, he sure does. Okay, so Jay also mentioned, did you see the Cynthia Johnson video that Tatum recently did? Oh, that one. Yes, yes, yes. On where she was warning Trumpers and in my opinion, encouraging action by her soldiers against people too. That was insane, you guys. That was insane that she like did that. Like she looked like... Tatum was right. She looked demonic in that video. Like she was literally like up close to the camera. Her eyes were like all squinty. And she was basically like saying, prepare for action or whatever she said. Like, what the hell is that? And how the hell does that not get flagged and taken down? Because that is a direct threat to people for what they believe. Like that is insane to me that that is allowed. That is a really great example of what I'm talking about. How they censor one group of people and not the other. That is not okay. Can you imagine if somebody got on a live or posted on their website that they were going to call on a group of people to target another group of people? That would be crazy. And, and God forbid it be a Trump supporter doing it to the other side because they would lose their mind. They would lose their mind. Okay. Yeah, she looked drunk and I, <laughs> she did. Okay, let me try to keep up. Sorry, guys. My dad is helping me with a stock account so I can get started with investing. Okay, that's cool. I like that. Aren't white people the worldwide minority? What is the big deal with letting them have a little space? Maybe I'm all screwed up. Just wondering. I agree with you. I actually said to Dave the other day, I was like, dude, white people are literally the minority in this country as far as like where they're the respect that they're given um, and how you must feel as a white person. Now he doesn't feel this way, but I see white people, some white people out there. And I know you guys on here are like the best and you guys don't feel this way, but I see so many Caucasian people, I hate to see, say the word white, um, that are apologizing for being white. It's like, you can't help being white any more than the person who's black or Hispanic or Asian can help what they are. Like nobody can help what you are, or how you were born. Like, why are you apologizing for it? Why are you, you know, feeling guilty for how you were born just because a certain group of people are making you feel guilty? That is crazy to me. Crazy. Um, they're only using the call against her as a scapegoat for what she was saying. I have a feeling they're supposed to call about her being lynched may just be fake calls. Yeah, I haven't heard about that. Um, sorry, guys. The comments are moving fast. Oh, I saw that video of white people washing black people's feet. That was crazy. First of all, I won't wash anybody's feet. Feet? Uh-uh. No, ma'am. Not happening. That's nasty. That's nasty. Um, but you know what? Okay, like, let me just do a change of topic really quick, okay? How sick are you of hearing all this talk about, like, you know, like, AOC came out with these sweatshirts that say, tax the rich, and then you hear people talking about, you know, I'm against big corporations. And the reason why I thought about that is because they were talking about investments and stuff like that. Why is it that everybody isn't striving to be successfully financial? Like, why is that a negative thing if you're successfully financial or you're quote unquote rich or wealthy, right? Why is that a problem? You know, the other day, I literally was talking to somebody about it on my Instagram and they were like, oh, you know, Amazon's the devil, just like Trump. They, they don't pay their taxes. And it's like, you're an idiot if you think that, okay? You clearly don't know how taxes work um, and you clearly don't make enough money to even begin to understand it, okay? Um, and it's just hypocrisy at the highest level, okay? If you are <laughs> holding a Apple phone or a Samsung phone or any type of big brand phone or you ordered something off Amazon or you're holding a Starbucks cup in your hand in the morning, okay? You do not have the right to complain about big corporations, okay? Don't be mad 
that they make money and you don't. You should be happy for people like that, not hating on people like that, okay? They pay millions of dollars in taxes on properties, okay? Like Amazon has warehouses all over the country that they have to pay property taxes on. If they have employees, they have to pay payroll tax, okay? They may be not paying as much federal tax as you would think they would have to pay, but trust me, they're paying taxes. And P.S., okay, the people that own Starbucks, the CEO of Starbucks and the CEO of Amazon, Jeff Bezos, and, you know, Tesla, their personal taxes are separate from their business taxes, okay? So don't think that because their business might be paying a certain amount that they personally aren't paying millions upon millions of dollars in taxes because of the, the amount of money they make. That's crazy. Wake up, people, and stop listening to half-ass facts, okay? Hell no. I just saw Nicole's comment. I don't know what that was referring to, but she said hell no, so I say hell no. Okay. Oh, I think she was talking about feet because somebody said feet or ratchet. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. So if Amazon was the devil, then what has the post office become? Right. Uh, if everyone was blind, do you think we would still find a way to be racist? Yes. <laughs> we would invent something to be racist about. But you know what's so funny? So I was going to make a video about this, um, but they just keep coming out with more and more stupid episodes that I can't keep up. The View, okay? They were talking about how black women need to stop hating on other black women. Um, I think it was Kiki Palmer or somebody came out with a video where she was kissing a white man and she put it like on her Instagram. Apparently she's dating a white man, right? So she received all sorts of hate comments in her video and The View decided to talk about it. They were like, why are we hating on people loving the person that they choose to love regardless of the color? right? Why are we making it all about color? And I was like, are these idiots really saying this? Like all they talk about is color and how, you know, this is a black film and this is a black person and this is a black business and we need to support black, black, black or Latino, Latino or let or what is it? Latinx, whatever the that is. Okay. I just can't with the hypocrisy anymore. I can't with the hypocrisy. If you talk about things in terms of color, whether it's a good thing or a bad thing, that is a form of racism. If you are giving an opinion about something based on the color, that is a form of racism, period. End of story, okay? Ugh, yeah, jeez. Anyways, let me go back on the comments, sorry. Yeah, dude, people should be striving towards the top, Ben. You are correct, okay? We were literally driving through a million dollar housing community in Dallas the other day looking at Christmas lights. And my parents are well off. They're not, you know, they're a little bit higher, I think, than middle class, okay? But my dad was like driving, he was like, you know what? Because we always joke and I always say, you know what? I would just love to like walk up to the door and knock on the door and just say, what do you do <laughs> to live like this? What do you do? And my dad said, you know what? I'm really happy for people who are able to provide this type of lifestyle for themselves and for their families. Like that makes me happy. That makes me see that it's possible, you know? And I feel the same way. Like I, I see people succeeding and doing well, even people that are in my same realm and business. Okay. I don't sit there and hate on them. I sit there and go, dang, that's so awesome. Like imagine how I would feel if that were me. I always do that. Like I would feel like this, if this were me, if this happened to me, I would feel this way. You know what I mean? Like I see Brandon driving around and he is, he has a, uh, I think he has a Rolls Royce. He has a Rolls Royce and I see him driving around. I know it's a Rolls Royce cause he's got that, that star ceiling. Okay. I'm not sitting there going, Ugh. I wonder what he's doing to get all that. I wonder how many people he's scamming. That's probably what he buys all, you know, what he uses all his super chest for. I'm not saying that, okay? I am saying like how cool that he has really only been on YouTube for like two to three years and he has built this incredible life for himself and his wife. How cool is that? Like, I want that. I want to learn. You know what I mean? Like that's how people should be thinking about things. If we all thought that way, there would be so much less hate in the world. But, you know, unfortunately... There's so many people that just live to be negative and hate on other people for their success. And that's so, so sad. 
what is going on here in the chat? Okay, you guys are like having a love fest without me. <clears throat> Do you believe WAP is going to fix racial tensions? No. <laughs> no, you're wrong. All, racism only applies to black people. <laughs> yeah, and you know what? The sad part is, and I'm going to say this. I know a lot of people are going to probably come after me for saying this, but black people are some of the most racist people on the planet. I don't think they realize that they're being racist, but everything they say, I'm not going to say all black people, but a lot of black people, when I hear them say stupid, stupid stuff, it comes from a place of ignorance and it sounds so racist. Um, you know, I just, I wish we would just stop talking in terms of color and that would be a huge step towards the right direction, you know? And Hispanic people do do it as well. Hispanic people do it as well. We have, we say things all the time um, negatively against our own race, you know, and then wonder why people talk negatively or say things that are ignorant against our race. You know, when you perpetuate that type of talk and then you start hearing somebody else talk that way about you, that's partly your fault. You know what I mean? You're you're perpetuating that it's okay to say those things. It's okay to behave that way in a certain in front of a certain group of people just because they treat themselves that way. And that lends to the old saying that you teach people how to treat you. You know what I mean? Okay. Amen. We as a society need to remove any and all modifiers before the word person people people are individuals not a skin color yep me too i try to encourage people and take inspiration law of attraction i'm happy for people i want them to succeed unfortunately living in new york with tax cuts it's almost like what's the point whoa you live in new york okay so i read something today that new york is going to try to mandate that everybody get the vaccine have you heard that what do you say about that <laughs> People would get to know each other better if we share WAP with each other. I'm, you know, Stephen, I think people are sharing a whole lot of WAP with each other. I don't think that's a problem. Did you see that video on The Cut where they ask about 20 black people what white people are good at? Yes, I did see that. That was insane, okay? I think they also asked, like, what they were bad at as well. If you haven't seen that, I think ABL did a video on that, so head to his channel. But that was the stupidest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> um yes they are i love black people but i lived in the hood and you was always judged especially the women yeah someone who was black was telling me how they hate me because i'm white that's crazy why would you hate somebody based on their skin color and you know what's crazy about that is in the black community this is really sad and i didn't even know that this existed but i watched uh back when i used to watch oprah I watched this special on Oprah on how racism is in the black community and they were talking about skin color and how couples feel when they have a light skin baby and how stressful of a time it is when the baby's born because most babies are born with no skin pigmentation. They're usually pretty light and then the skin pigmentation comes in afterwards. But they were talking about the uh, stigma that gets put on light skin people in the black community and also dark skinned people. So if you're not the right skin color in the black community, it's also a struggle. So, you know, that kind of lends to the fact that it cannot be fixed outside the black community until it is fixed within the black community. If you want people to not make your skin a factor, you have to not make it a factor. Enough said on that. Oh, so you did not hear about the vaccines being made mandatory. Okay, so I just saw an article on that. So apparently if they don't feel like enough people have uh, voluntarily gotten the vaccine, they're going to mandate people to get the vaccine is what they're trying to pass that law. Yeah, Bobby, my stream was acting up earlier. I had to like switch to my phone. So... Trump did more for the black community. I agree. <laughs> uh, yeah, Oprah is the biggest douche. I don't watch her anymore. All right, guys. Well, does anybody have any other questions for me? 
If you're new on here, welcome to the channel. Please make sure you go to my website at letstalkdarling.com. Follow me on Rumble. That is the most important thing because I'm going to be posting videos on Rumble. Watch the beginning of this video and you'll understand why. Um, I live in Dallas, Texas. Nicole, <clears throat> if you guys want to like, uh, what is it called? Fast, ask me questions, rapid questions, go ahead. I'll try to answer as many as possible. Go live. I am live. <laughs> wait, I have to read this. So Ramek said, wait, wait, ain't nobody sharing WAP with me. Is this a new democratic program? Do we get WAP cards like EFT for food stamps? <laughs> uh, oh, you're asking when I go live. Okay, so I, I don't have a regular live schedule. I really need to start doing that. Um, so I need to see what day is gonna be best. But again, with the new rules with YouTube, we will see, okay? Um, I'm thinking maybe Wednesday or Thursday. I keep saying that, but I'm not really sticking to it. Um, but yeah, I do need to go live more regularly. So I will definitely try to do that. I will make a conscious effort to try to do that. If you guys promise to be here, I will go live regularly, okay? So hype me up and let me know you're gonna be here. Do you have a day? Okay, I think I answered that. Oh, the other thing is, is I've been told that people are being unsubscribed from my YouTube. So make sure, even if you're on here, please make sure that you go and make sure it says you're subscribed. Make sure it says you have notifications turned on to all because otherwise you're only going to get some notifications. But check it periodically because I've been told that people subscribe and they get unsubscribed magically by unseen forces. Okay. You didn't get notified today? That's crazy. Because I even posted like a thing that said I was going to go live. That's crazy. Thanks for the video. I'm sorry for the new YouTube roles and how they will affect you and others. It's apparent you make these videos because you care and not because you hate. Absolutely. I definitely make these videos because I care. Somehow, God put it in me that this was my purpose and I'm just living my purpose. So I can't do anything else but this. So I just have to keep going and trust that it's all going to work out and that it's going to make a difference. And that's why I do this. Okay. Um, <clears throat> let people know when you go live that sometimes they will have to go in and out of your pages and sometimes go into the video through your channel. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how I'm going to tell that to people because even my Instagram and Facebook, um, is censored as well. So not everybody is seeing things on there. By the way, if you go to my Instagram and you're not seeing my stories, it's because I'm shadow banned on there, but make sure you either check the very top for a bell, click that, click all notifications as well there. If you don't have a bell, go to following on my page and you can do it from there, okay? But I would suggest that you um, uh, check it regularly for all people, not just me, but the people that you really, really like to follow and see stuff from, make sure you're checking to make sure that you are still subscribed to their channels or to their pages because the powers that be are unsubscribing people and changing settings without them knowing, okay? So. I never get notified when you do live. It's been turned off. Okay, so you need to turn it back on. All right. <clears throat> well, you guys, thank you so much for joining the live tonight. Um, Maybe I'll get to a point where I do like two, three hour lives like Officer Tatum, but I just don't have it in me right now. And I don't have all the content that he has because he has such amazing content. He's such an amazing person. Make sure you go check all your notifications and stuff for him as well because uh, he needs our help. He's also being censored. His wife is being censored. It's crazy. All right. Thank you guys so much. I love you. Have a good night. Go to the website. Bye.